All right, do you guys have that quadratic formula song in your head? We're gonna put it to use now. We're gonna solve a couple equations using the quadratic formula. So in case you have not written it down yet, let's get the quadratic formula in our notes. It is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So we use the quadratic formula from standard form. Standard form has the a, b, and c values. So if we're gonna solve this equation in part a, let's identify our a value is three, our b value is negative four, and our c value is negative nine. So our first step is gonna be just plug all those numbers in um, for the a, b, and c. So we have a negative, negative four, plus or minus the square root of Make sure you use parentheses when you're plugging things in. So negative four squared minus four times a, which is three times c, which is negative nine. So all that's underneath the square root and then all over two times a, which is three. Okay, to simplify this, I'm okay if you grab your calculator and start with whatever this gives you underneath here. Is, if you are using parentheses, you're allowed to just type it into your calculator. If you're not gonna use parentheses, then don't bother because you're gonna, th gonna get the wrong answer with your calculator. So we'll continue simplifying. A negative negative four is positive four plus or minus the square root. When you type all that into your calculator, you should get 124. Feel free to grab your calculator and double check. Are you typing it incorrectly? Are you getting that 124? If you're not, then we need to check how you're using your calculator. All over two times three, which is six. All right, so once you get this simplified by figuring out the number underneath the radical, um, by the way, that is called the radicand. Radicand, we're gonna talk about that in an upcoming video. Um, you want to focus on the square root. Do we know the square root of 124 or can we reduce the square root of 124? Um, it's not a perfect square. So if we think about any perfect squares that fit in, we can reduce this with a square root of 4 and square root of 31. So to continue to simplify, we have 4 plus or minus. Instead of square root of 24, the square, we're going to break that down. The square root of 4 is 2, square roots of 31 all over six. Now, if you have, I, I call this the triangle of numbers, just because in my mind, it's a triangle. This number here, and if you have a number in front of your square root and your denominator, if those three numbers can be reduced down, divided by the same value, you can go ahead and reduce that. So you have a four, two, and six. Those will all divide by two. So four divided by two is two plus or minus two divided by two is one, and one times square root of 31 is just square root of 31, all over three divided by two, or sorry, six divided by two is three. All right, so let's just make sense of that answer. If x equals two plus or minus the square root of one, 31 over three, that's actually two answers. One answer is two plus square root of 31 over three, and the other answer is two minus the square root of 31 over three. If we wanted to get a decimal approximation of those solutions, we could plug it into the calculator and see, but because this 31 is not a perfect square, um, it would be a rounded answer. So this is an exact answer, that's an exact answer, which is why we leave it in that form. All right, let's try one more example. This gets faster for us the more we do it. Um, one thing I didn't mention before, if you're going to use the quadratic formula, you need to be in standard form and you need to be equal to zero. So if your equation is not set equal to zero, get everything on one side and then you can start with the quadratic formula. So identify our A, B, and C. A is one, B is negative nine, C is 27. And then we can plug into our formula. X equals negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared, notice I'm using parentheses every time I plug a number in, minus four times A, which is one, times C, which is 27, all over two times A. 
So that negative negative nine is positive nine plus or minus the square root of, then I grab my calculator and I type this in with parentheses and we get a negative 27 all over two. So square root of a negative number, we need to bring an I so that we can work with a positive number underneath the square root. So nine plus or minus I root 27 all over two. Can we, or now that this is a positive number, square root of 27, it's not a perfect square, so we can't just square root it. Can we reduce it? Do any perfect squares fit in? We can break that down with a square root of nine and square root of three. So we've got nine plus or minus, square root of nine is three, and the i is gonna go with that, square root of three, all over two. So can we do any reducing after this? So look at your triangle of numbers. We have a nine, a three, and a two. Can nine, three, and two be reduced by the same value? It cannot, so we can't do any more reducing. The last thing we can do just to make sure it makes sense is write out our two solutions. One of them is nine plus three i root three over two, and the other one is nine minus three i root two over, oops, nine minus three i root three over two. And those are our solutions.